And you can find our past adventures, want to point out, on our website. For now, though, we're coming up on the 4th of July, and look at this spread, possibly a 4th of July picnic we're talking about this here. This is amazing. And, you know, joining us now is chef partner uh, Ryan Mitchell from Fleming's. And i got to tell you, Ryan, this is exactly what it looks like when I take a picnic or have a picnic. This <laughs> is exactly time. how I set it up. <laughs> but you're going to step us through a steak sandwich here, and you got stuff in the basket. Step us through this, and what should we do? All right. Well, 4th of, 4th of July right around the corner, great steak sandwich. You start with some fresh bread, sourdough that we make every day at the restaurant. We're going to cut that right down this center. And then I've got some pre-seared tenderloin. Some when it comes to the tenderloin, is it important to pick the right kind of meat? Like, you can't just go and grab any meat from the uh, grocery no, uh, store. Uh, USDA choice would be probably recommended. You okay. get in the grocery store. Do you have to marinate it? you have to season it? Uh, season salt and pepper, seared medium rare. Okay. What else is in that basket? How do we make uh, this sandwich? We've got some pre-cooked peppers and onions. Mm -hmm. Our special sauce, which is a smoked jalapeno aioli. Mm, that smells good. It does as soon smell as we good. It out. So we're just going to layer the uh, bread with our tenderloin. And I've actually pre-cooked the uh, peppers, banana peppers, red pepper, mushroom, and onion, so it's easy to travel. Okay. So a lot of this is preparing things beforehand. If We don't want you to give up your secret here, but what, what, if someone's going to try and make something like this at home, what would they do? Adobe chipotle chili peppers, mayonnaise, and a little bit of ketchup. Good. Okay, what's okay. the sandwiches in the basket all the, ready to go? There's some things you have paired with it for the perfect picnic. Uh, strawberry shortcake. What better on 4th of July than strawberry shortcake? So I've <laughs> taken some fresh strawberries, marinated with a little bit of sugar, water, and a little angel food cake topped with some fresh whipped cream. Great. Wow. And what's this over here? Uh, fresh uh, potato salad, my mom's recipe. Your so, mom's recipe? You're yeah. not giving that up I, at I all. I can't give that one away. <laughs> okay, you have a few new things at Fleming's. Tell us about what's going on at Fleming's. Uh, bar La Carte. It's a new bar menu that consists of a couple flatbreads. Hey, 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 hey. Logan. You stay close with that. Go ahead. A couple flatbreads. We have a new burrata on the menu, steak meatballs, just a new innovative bar menu, uh, new for Fleming's. Uh, great to hang out with friends at the bar and uh, try some of our new dishes. Very yeah. cool. Uh, appetizer things there too, right? Five, si five six, seven still available. Uh, we've got five appetizers, cocktails, and wine till seven o'clock for six dollars. Check it out. Not bad at all. Bill keeps taking the stuff. <laughs> He's cleared out your picture. He has. We have nothing. All right. Ryan, thank you thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Here. Everybody head to abcactionnews.com right now. We have some information posted on Ryan's perfect picnic selections here uh, posted at the web now. And just ahead on ABC Action News, what a difference a week makes. Perfect beach weather for a sandwich like we just saw. Uh, but we're going to take a look back at uh, your photos and videos and uh, how they helped during the uh, tropical storm Debbie with